Tonight, a worker at a large cat rescue is improving after she was bitten by a tiger on Friday and then held down for several minutes. It happened at the exotic feline rescue center in Center Point, about 65 miles west of Indianapolis. Tonight, RTV6 reporter Chris Prophet with new details in an exclusive interview with the center's founder, and it's a story you'll see only here at 6. 21 year old Marissa Dubb, an employee of the exotic feline rescue center, was injured by the tiger named Raja after workers at the refuge say she inadvertently left a gate open, allowing the tiger to knock her to the ground and then latch onto her neck. On Monday, Dubb's condition was upgraded from serious to fair at an Indianapolis hospital. Founder Joe Taft, speaking on camera for the first time since Friday's incident, says that Dubb made a grave mistake. We didn't know how serious her condition was. No, none of us touched her. Uh, but the first responders were here almost immediately. I mean, we barely got the tiger contained when they got here. After gripping her with its teeth and holding her for around six frightening minutes, animal keepers lured the tiger away. Taft has operated the rescue for nearly 23 years and says there have been minor incidents where employees were bitten, but nothing like this. Anna is greeting me. She's coming over here to say hello. On Monday, OSHA and the U.S. Department of Agriculture began the investigation into what Taft calls an incident and not an attack. He wouldn't allow us to get pictures of the tiger, but says that had it attacked, Marissa Dubb wouldn't have survived. We're not here to, to get hurt. We're not here to take risk. Uh, we're here to take care of these cats and do it in such a way that we will be here for them tomorrow. Dub, a former intern at the rescue center, had worked as a full-time employee for a year. On Sunday, her family declined to talk about her injuries, saying that she's recovering. Now investigators will look into what mistakes were made and whether the refuge for some of the world's most dangerous animals will face sanctions. In Centerpoint, Chris Prophet, RTV6.